Hi, this is Diana, your favorite astro nerd and my friend Canela the raccoon. So now let's start with the problem and how I solve it. So I downloaded the uh, new beta version, Obita version, and uh, this is when my nightmare started. All of my initial settings, everything looked good. I didn't notice anything, any difference. And I was also able to take my test photo. Didn't sound right to me that that was the reason why the camera was not going to complete the sequence because I already took a test photo. So, no. Sequence generator gave me a notification. Sequence was completed, but the green bar on the bottom was not 100%. So that was the first uh, red flag. Something was really wrong. <laughs> oh. Hey, how about a combo? Sequence information, starting target, target one. <laughs> and then attempting to start the guider. Oh. So the problem seems to be related to the plate solve, auto guide, and I was also having problems already with uh, the PhD too. So now that I know that it has nothing to do with uh, basic settings, um, it's time to go into the plate solve. So I tried to do a blind plate solve of an image and guess what? It failed. Problems. Oh no. <laughs> Woo! Problems, problems. Checking out a guider status, it was just stuck right there. <laughs> I had to find a way to channel the frustration <laughs> after spending sometimes weeks trying to solve a, a problem, a technical problem. So what did I do? I have a piñata. And this is a category 8 piñata, caramba. But you know what? I'm going to give you the solution right now. So this is how I solve my problem. After a long time, many days, and a lot of uh, uh, piñata tantrums that I have for about 10 days, I found the solution on this page. It's all related to plate solving, okay? And the instructions are very easy to follow. Uh, it starts with the installation. Uh, you have to download the installer. It's self-explanatory. Um, and these files are going to be located under C, Program Files, Astrometry.net, Local Solver. These files were gone somehow after the uh, beta uh, installation upgrade, okay? So this is how originally I found out that something was wrong uh, because I couldn't find these files. So you want to be sure that you check on that. Uh, step number four, it's very easy, self-explanatory. Uh, the port number, I left everything as, as a default. I didn't have to change or look for anything. And then, of course, we're going to click install. I did have to uh, do a pause uh, on the uh, antivirus and the programs that I have to protect the computer. I did have a conflict with that, even though that I tried to, to run it as an admin as, a, as administrator. But I just decided to turn them off for about an hour, and everything worked good. Uh, then we're going to go into uh, the files are going to extract. It's going to take time. They're big files. And finally, we are going into the um, uh, setup wizard from ast astrometry.net. I'm having a hard, a hard time with this word. 
Uh, step number nine, uh, I didn't have to look for anything. I just left everything exactly the way it was and it works great. It worked really good. Step, uh, step number 10, yes, I did see all of this. And then finally, you're going to confirm that AN, ANSVR is running by opening the ANSVR settings item in the Windows Start menu. And this is the uh, part where you are going to see your file. So it is on the Start menu and it's under astrometry.net local solver. So this is going to be right here on your Windows Start uh, menu, okay? And then finally, uh, you will know that the process is, is successful and complete uh, when a page, like, a page like this uh, will open in a browser window with the ANSVR setting. So you want to be sure that everything looks uh, correct on your control panel. Uh, the camera is not connected right now, but uh, all of my settings um, stay the way they were before. The under plate solve, after I install everything that I just show you, uh, I was able to do a blind um, plate solving and it worked great, uh, which I couldn't do before. Uh, you wanna go here to settings. Be sure that your um, latitude and longitude, it's still good. All of these settings right here. I always take screenshots of everything, but this is very important. Uh, in fact, this is one of the very first things that I check when, when uh, I realized that I was having problems with my um, auto guide and plate solve. So latitude and longitude needs to remain the same way. Okay. All of this is pretty much I have it with uh, default settings. And then you go uh, after you do your process and you install everything again, the astrometry.net settings. As you can see here, it is the ANSVR local astrometry folder. Uh, we go uh, here into the settings and um, uh, according to the instructions on the page that I show, uh, you need to see this. If you see this uh, window, we're good to go. Don't worry, we fixed the problem. We just fixed it. On the uh, section in the control panel, uh, under auto guide, I did um, change a little bit some settings here. I'm sure I can make this better eventually. Uh, I was sure to put uh, my uh, PhD2, which is the program that I'm using uh, to guide, and I check here on Dither and Small Dither. If you're still having trouble uh, with your uh, plate sole and auto guide, please be sure to check the last paragraph of the ANSVR setup that I just showed, where it talks about Windows uh, XP is not compatible with this version. So if you have Windows XP, you need to install a different version. And here I'm going to show the uh, link where it is on the last paragraph of the page, which has the most recent version that was compatible with XP. Then after the installation is complete, you select check for ANSVR updates from the start menu, astronomy.net, local solver, folder and this will update the ANS VR script only and you are ready to go. So this is how I solve this this nightmare of eight to ten days of of not taking a single photo on sequence generator. <laughs>